you probably realize I really love playing around with presence detection. Now, I recently came across a video from Techno Enthusiast talking about an automation called Wasp in the Box. So we all know that using PIR sensors, if you sit still for too long, the lights turn off. So this classic automation is designed to keep the lights on provided you close the door. So Someone walks into the bathroom, the lights turn on, then they close the door, then perhaps they sit still for quite a while. The lights would normally go off. But what this blueprint does is it effectively states, well, if the door is closed, even though there's no movement, I will keep the lights on. So let's have a look at how this works. If you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. Big thank you to Alex Babel for creating this awesome blueprint. So all we need here is a motion sensor, a door sensor, and two helpers. So first of all, let's import the blueprint, open the link, and preview it, and press import. There we go. So it's now brought the blueprint in. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to go along and we need to create two helpers. So we go to devices and services, helpers. The first one we're going to create is going to be a Boolean counter. Now, these ones have been changed. The name of the Boolean counter is now called a toggle. So what this one is going to be is our occupancy. There we go. So we're going to create that one. The second one we're going to do is called the last motion. And this is going to be a date and time. So we'll call that last motion. And that will be date and time. So, so now we go along to our blueprint and we want to set it up. So automations and scenes, blueprints, occupancy. Now, what we want to do is we want to select our door sensor. So we'll just go door and I want bathroom door occupancy, bathroom door opening. There we go. That's my bathroom door sensor. And then I want my bathroom motion sensor. There we go. So we've got bathroom door motion. So now what I do is if we've got a sensor delay, I just leave this at five. The motion sensor delay, I'm going to set that to 12. That's what they're recommending here. Um, occupancy helper. So these are the two helpers that we've created. There's our occupancy boolean. And there is our last motion detection. So now all we do is we save this, all right, and we're going to call it occupancy. So now we've created our automation. So this will now work, but now we need to create another automation to turn the light on or off based on the state of that Boolean. So now so we go back to automations and scenes, and we're going to create two automations. So the first one we're going to trigger based on the Boolean. So we're going to look at an entity and a state and it's the occupancy there we go and we're going to say when it goes from off to on we then want to trigger our light so we go along we find our device and the one we want is the bathroom light there we go and we want to turn the bathroom light on so we go. now the easiest way to do your second one is we just go duplicate um, that creates us another one and then all we want to do is we want to change this from off we are going to go from on to off, and then we want to turn the bathroom light off. There we go, and we save that, and we just call that. So this automation has worked really well for me. If you did have any problems, you could always go along here to the automation, select traces, and you can actually trace your automation through. So each time it runs, you'll actually see which path has it taken. So the first path down here is to turn it on. The second path and the third path down here is to turn it off based on whether the door was open or closed. Anyway, that's all for me now. Let me know if you've got any other cool blueprints that you've seen so I can try them out. That's all for now. Thanks a lot. Bye then.